So uh, this is how I use the new um, Retub tool here in the latest Maya uh, version. It can be found here. And the thing is, we have your, uh, your nice sculpted uh, model here. And you do the topo by hand. You see, you can create all kinds of of the needed uh, topo for the deformation later on. But it does take a long time, so I thought I would just grab this new tool and give it a test drive. And I got this here. And you can see you lose all the detail in the face because it doesn't know it needs to do much more polygons into in the face or in in different areas. So if you compare the two, you can see this um, is not production ready. You can sculpt on them, but you can't animate it. And yeah, so I had this one here. So the thing I do, or I tried to do, is I had this also too, is cut off the arms and I did this with just a boolean and then I deleted the top face from the boolean and I got this Okay, this one is the wrong one, and this also not needed. Where is the topo? Okay, this is original. Uh, this and this, yeah. So this one is also the high res. You can see this is much better. I grab the other one and also cut this one here. So I managed to get let, uh, less of the spirals here because in the fir first loop I get the clean one here. The same goes for the other part. And also here is a clean uh, area where you can do the, the topo by hand and then merge it with the auto rate topo. So this one here is not that bad. Now there are a lot, of, a lot of geometry I would do like this here, but it's m much, much faster and sometimes the rigger needs um, something to start with um, and sometimes it's, it's enough. If this is just a, a statue or something something else, it's, it's really helping the algorithm um, if you just provide parts and do the important things um, by hand.